Hello, everyone. Can you believe it? I saw so, we were a bit uh, earlier today, but yeah, not uh, <laughs> not like how I wish, uh, how early we should have been. But yeah, the, we, my uh, team won in the, the in the ice hockey, so I was uh, celebrating that. And then I fell asleep. And then I woke up. No would thing, I slept through all of my alarms, and uh, here we are. So yeah, uh, let's see here. We have uh, a couple of hours at least of playtime. We are not going to finish this area tonight unless a miracle happens, really. If I skip all of the anchors, then maybe. But I don't think it's going to be like that. So, yeah, first things first. Let's check our researches. Second thing. Uh, I have um, swapped over to range. I have found a very lovely bow. Might change it again. We'll see. There were some, re there were some really nice uh, skins. I burned through a lot of money. Uh, and I have uploaded everything that I almost had onto the trader. Uh, now it's only is a matter of time to notice if it sells or not. I hope it does though, because that will generate a bunch of money. Otherwise I will have to start undercutting, which I don't really fancy, but I'm willing to do it. Because I'm kind of desperate to get some cash. So let's see here. The blacksmithing station. Uh, research. How are we doing over here? Two days on the daggers. Two hours on the greatsword. Yeah, that's bad. That is very, very poor. My best bet would be if I start with something I haven't researched yet. Because if I do that... I buy myself some more time because I'm not... Um, I'm not... Um, uh, high enough to... Uh, to finish up uh, blacksmithing here. I think I need... Uh, It's, it's otherwise the third rank or the last one. The last one will limit it to 30 days. So I kind of need to get that sorted before I start researching for the great sword. Otherwise we're going to stay be here for a long time. So yeah, I will uh, have to get to that. It's just I haven't really had the time for it. What the hell is wrong with this lizard? Huh. Yeah. Alright. Uh, well, let's uh, let's go. See what we need to do. There is a uh, there is an an anchor group running around. I can see that. Uh, yeah, I think we will. So how will I do this? Grab the books, maybe? Try the world boss? We'll see. I'm gonna head down there at least. And uh, take it from there. So I haven't really done anything with the bow. The bow is like uh, less than 10. It is 10. So... Uh, so we need to level that. Restoration stuff is uh, almost 8. Only have one skill on that. Might stick to one skill because I'm leveling that one 15% faster than uh, any other weapon. But yeah, and uh, then the two with dark magic uh, skills here. And then we have shield wall followed by elemental storm. 
And then we're gonna have two more uh, ultimates uh, when we unlock them at 50. On the back bar we have uh, only fighter skill, undaunted and uh, the assault PvP and elemental storm. Uh, although what that's what that is doing there, I have really no clue because yeah. Although it's just leveling the abilities, I can maybe leech uh, some anchors with that set setup. We'll see. Because I know as hell can't really fight using just that. Or I can, but it's going to be a hassle. Ah, so yeah. This is kind of nice, actually. Oh yeah, and uh, we bought uh, a new horse. Kind of like this. It's nice. And uh, we don't need anything of this yet. But we need food. I also sorted out... I did a deep clean of my storage here. And I leveled up uh, my uh, my cat to level 6, so now that one can do Ritz as well. So I have four characters right now uh, doing Ritz on a daily basis. If I manage to sell everything that I put up, I should be making close to like half a million or something. Assuming I get it all sold, which we'll see. Now, I'm not a huge fan of bow users, but we will see. Uh, my name is Risa Varil. My restless and reckless nature led me to this place. I don't have long to live. I'm not afraid, but I do have one sorrow. The amulet my mother gave me was lost when the snake uh, delivered a poison that is now killing me. If you're reading this, may you fare better in the coiled path than I. If you find a small gold amulet engraved with an R uh, on uh, one of the serpents, take it to my mother, Aneida Uvaril, at the fortress. Right here. So yeah, after the stream yesterday, I was um, taking a bit of a rest, and then I just started to, uh, when I got the time, I started to change over from uh, Mage to what we are now. And, um, and uh, yeah, that, that was pretty much it. Then it took a long time to uh, post everything on the, on the trading. But it's nice to have all of that done, really. It's uh, really nice. Oh, here we go then. And uh, volley, we can upgrade to I don't really know. Maybe Arrow Barrage. And then we need to get the 42 for the last uh, ability. We also need to master this, or, well, level it up to 5. 
But yeah, I, I burned quite a lot of money. Actually, not that much on uh, all this gear yesterday. Well, earlier. Right, there we go. So uh, we have full defiler set, which I think was fairly cheap. Not the best one, but it will do. The rest was just, uh, I just replaced everything because the stamina gear we had before this was like level 40. So um, I decided that we needed something else. And that's when we got us a drop some time ago. And it's okay, I suppose. Oh, that sounds delicious. I'd be happy to taste test it for you. It might be one of these. Okay, we have it. So yeah, I'm gonna be checking this kind of frequently. In order to make sure we don't lose out on any potential experience. Okay, we're just gonna follow this uh, path. And we are quite fast. With some uh, medium armor passives, which is lovely. A divergence point. Right, the ghost thing. Your you. offering pleases well, me. Well, there really is a ghost thing. The warm blood was sent by those who honor and protect this veil. Most curious. The um, Mabrigash asked me to seek your counsel. Every path leads in two directions into light and into darkness. Light and dark, good and evil, sunlight and shadow. Two sides to all things, little warm blood. And what does that mean? Let me show you. 
to feed the shadow snake. Where? What are you doing? Where is it? You keeping it in the basement? Will you help the Marbrigash now? The Marbrigash must make their own choices. Connect with the world outside or remain isolated. It is never only light or shadow. As long as they honor my kin and I, they are free to do as they please. Won't the veil change if they choose to give up their isolation? Some can stay isolated in the veil, or some may choose the outside world. Two sides of the same path. The merchant's presence has already changed the veil. What happens next is inevitable. And what about you? I am the ghost snake. I am both constant and ever-changing. One thing to you, another perhaps to the Marbrigash. Aid the Marbrigash as you will. The choice is yours to make. I can send you back to the Farseer. She waits for you at her tent. Hmm. Alright. Well, I don't have anything to look around for, I believe. I'm ready to go back now. You walked the coiled path and survived? Has the ghost snake spoken? The ghost snake says that you must decide for yourselves. Ghost snake is wise, but inscrutable. I had hoped he would demand that we bring the merchant to him. It's no coincidence that you arrived at the same time as the merchant. You are bound up in this. You must help us decide. Well, what, what do you want me to do? I crafted a snake totem representing the entwined fates of the Mabrigosh and the merchant. Get it from my tent. I will have the merchant brought here. A decision must be made. Our fate depends upon it. Well, here's the totem. What now? Now you must choose. If the Mabrigash are to remain isolated, place the totem in the fire. If we are to change our ways and trade with the Hlalu, give the totem to the merchant. Uh, what happens to Rast then if I burn the totem? He will remain in the Vale, serving the Ghost Snake. Uh, would it be uh, so bad for the uh, Mabrigash to become less isolated? I know only that it will change us. Whether for good or ill, only time will tell. I need more information before I decide. Seek guidance where you would. Speak to my people, 
the merchant, or even the merchant's assistant, if you wish. But then you must choose. Watch your step among the Mabrigash, outsider. How do you feel about allowing House Haluru to trade for snakeskins? Ah, Rastan claims things won't change, but I don't trust him. If you ask me, the Hlalu are just one step above thieves. What do you think I should do? If it were up to me, Rastan would have quietly disappeared the first night he arrived here. But you're the one making the decision, not me. I'm surprised that a man could see the ghost snake and live. Do you think the tribe would benefit from dealing with House uh, Halalu? At first, I just wanted the merchant to go away. But I've been thinking. Perhaps it wouldn't be so bad to deal with the outside world. Hmm. Not everyone here would agree with you. No. Many are set in their ways and fear change. But if we're cautious, we may benefit in the long run. I've spoken to some of the Marbragash wise women. They've been perfectly polite. Well, uh, what do you suggest I do? I've been on the receiving end of Roston's vaunted charms a time or two. I'm not surprised he managed to offend every woman in the Vale. I wonder if the Farseer would consider another option. I don't wish Roston ill, but I have an idea. All right. They let Roston live. As long as he promises never to speak of the Vale or return here. Then they sign a trade agreement with me. They deal with me, and I keep other Halalu traders away. It's a mutually beneficial arrangement. Hmm. It's an in that's an interesting suggestion. Everyone wins. Rastan doesn't end up as snake food. I gain prestige among the Halalu, and Marbragash can limit the amount of influence the outside world places on the Vale. All right. Not a bad one, actually. I like that. Okay, I like that. If that harlot to Venice deals my deal, she'll regret it. Well, the the Mabrigash are very are uh, very of opening the veil to outsiders. So they treat me like some sort of criminal. I'd be nothing but respectful, and trade would help them. Uh, you'll benefit from trade too. Of course, I benefit. I'm a merchant. Trading is what I do. How about this? Propose a limited trade agreement on their terms, and I'll agree to keep other traders away from the Vale. Our fate rests in your hands. I might have made a decision. By your next action, our fate will be sealed. If the Mabrigash are to grant access to the Vale, give the totem to the merchant. If we are to remain isolated, tending the Vale without outside interference, Burn the totem in the fire. My vision was clear. Your actions will affect our future. Perhaps in ways we cannot yet see. Uh, would you consider an uh, arrangement with uh, Teviane Hadran in exchange for Rasna's freedom? Tevini spoke with Iru Ahan and made that same suggestion. A sly ploy. Clever. 
I admire that. I would be willing to deal with a smart woman who respects and understands our ways. So you'll release Raston? Raston will remain our guest while we finalize details with the female trader. We have ways to make sure he never speaks of us again. But have no fear. He will be released shortly. Pity. He would have served the Ghost Snake well. Ah, your search for knowledge continues. Right, there we go. I think that was probably the best deal. He seemed like an ass, and I don't trust him. Let you take the reins happily. We need one more level. I think I will finish everything in the southern part of the map right now. They are doing the, that uh, thing. My chance to make it there is very slim. I appear to have a quest along the way too. Oh. Mike would gorge himself in a Kwama mine if time allowed. They're still fighting. Uh, well, maybe I can make it there, but I don't know. We will see. It probably ended. No, what? It just started? Well, then there cannot be that many people here. One? a weird notification. Why didn't I get a pop-up uh, with this invitation? I could easily have missed that.
my minions will gnaw the flesh from you. Okay, so we might be doing uh, anchors now. I wouldn't mind. I mean, yeah, I actually don't mind. We need to do it as well. We really need to. But maybe I should uh, be clever here and um, swap over to um, uh, my backline. Means we will not level. Um, well, we won't level uh, bow, but we are gonna level the other abilities, which we also need. What the hell? Did Vigor just go all the way up to... Uh... Holy shit, that was fast. Let's see here. That one will soon be max. Silver balls are max. It's going fast. Alliance war. How pleasant. Drive on, cohort.
Did he take a faster one? Or... Yeah, that field really did a lot of damage. It hurt like hell.
I'll let you take the reins. Happily. You aren't paying me enough to deal with your prattle! Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. We can use this. So now we're heading for the last one again. There are people there actually this time. I think. Or not. Alright. I was still in the game going with the Undaunted one. But I think we need to do like dungeons for that. I still haven't really done any. I have done some like back in 2018, uh, 17. Oh. That's uh, worth a decent amount. Oh. I'm getting quite lucky with pulling some of those res uh, motives. But uh, where is uh, where is uh, where is where is food? Where is food? Food, food, food. Poison, poison. We can use. Okay, poison. We can all use. There we go.
fear. I shall make you Okay, well, th that's everything from uh, the fighter skill so far. Only Trap Beast. Um, yeah, not much I can do now. Uh, that is also maxed. This one is the only one that is not maxed. But it doesn't feel like having a backline with only two skills. I can weave that. Well, not really weave. I can just put that into um, my main bar. When uh, the time comes. So I think I'm going back to bow now. Which is going to be a lot better. In terms of... Uh, actually no, I take it back. Not in terms of damage. Because I'm leveling that too. But I must say, I kind of like the silver bolts. I haven't checked dark magic. There we go, 35. Do I have time to sort this out? That's kind of important. The armies of Cold Harbor are upon you. Submit to their rule. No.
Down here, I guess. Wait, wait, wait. Is that one up? Shit, someone must be there. Come on, push it. Someone is here. Shit, my damage is actually not that great. <laughs> oh. Well, well, the literal son just joined us. <laughs> that's that's a good name. Uh, let's go here. And uh, we need uh, to be 42, so it's going to take six more for that. With weapons, bow, that requires 38, which I don't have right now. But I can go back to this now. Thankfully. Restoration stuff. We can go to uh, that one. Go for that. Bow. Let's move. Let me upgrade these. Can I get the next one in uh, just a few kills or one or two? Okay, now we should have some damage. I missed everything. I thought I said, uh, oh yeah, I need to be out of... Um Pointless. 
ten anchors drop for each that is destroyed. Guy. Oh, poor guy. He doesn't have it. If you can invite him, he can ride with me. I can disable my companion, but I kind of don't want to do that, right? Because if I disable it, he's not going to get any XP. And there's fairly good XP farming these, actually. But what do I know? It's just the best I I'm not sure if it's the best, like, there is. We're doing a shield wall, by the way. All right, nice. Nice. Uh, let's see here. That requires 38, so yeah, just gonna keep at it.
in your victory. It won't last long. I think this one wants a run. Well, I have full inventory. This should be with the group. So no one has said anything. But I only have one more spot. But then this might be my last one before I need to go and clear out. Yeah. 